everyone. Um, today it's supposed to be 102 degrees today, and I've been inspired, thought what a great day since it's going to be so hot, to make a solar s'more oven. I was inspired by a guy on YouTube. He's uh, Steve Spangler Science. Um, this one is called Solar Oven S'more 6 Science number 97. And you just need a few things. It's so bright out here, so I'm going to put these. These are my safety glasses today. Just to let you know. This is what the temperature says right now. So that's what, 2, 4, 6, 108? I just brought it from the shade and it said it was 94. Whew, hot. Well, you need a pizza box. Got that. You need aluminum foil. You need some tape, scissors, a pen, a ruler, glue, electrical tape or duct tape, another cutting tool. I've got two because one is dull, I believe. And uh, clear sheets. These are clear sheets that I'm going to cut open. And they're supposed to be clear, but they got some stuff on them. Uh, black construction paper and a dowel rod. Well, a skewer. This is what I have. So we'll see what happens with all my concoction. Let's see if I can make a solar s'more oven. Well, I think I'm ready. I had to improvise a little bit because while I wasn't looking, the dog ate my electrical tape. <laughs> so thank God I had another piece of duct tape. Got it going. It's my little flap works on the decorated box that the girls did. I'm going to open it up and set up some schmores in there. I'm going to alter the experiment just a little bit by using super-sized marshmallows on Hershey's chocolate versus little marshmallows on peanut butter cups. The two little ones are going to go on those and the two big ones are on the Hershey's chocolate. I'm going to put the thermometer in there, put it outside, and see how long it takes and how hot it gets in there. Well, the s'mores are inside. The big ones are, I put them on their side. They're touching the top, and so are these. So, we might get a sticky s'more. It says it is 108? No. What is that? Two, four... Two, four, six, eight, ten, hundred and twelve. <coughs> That's on my back patio. Dang! So we're gonna put that inside the box and see if it even gets even hotter than that, or if it cools down a little bit. I'm sure, it'll cool down at first. If I put it right inside here, it'll probably get hot. Well, it's been ten minutes and the chocolate is melting, but my marshmallows are falling over. The big ones aren't doing anything yet, so I'm gonna adjust those. <laughs> Bummer. Well, it's been 20 minutes, and this said over, it was all the way to the top, so it was 122 plus 24, 26, 28, maybe 130 degrees plus, and now it says outside 114. <laughs> and I guess this is what you get. They don't get brown like they do in the fire, but they do get warm, so I'm going to eat them. Well, my review on that, the two little ones, perfect. Uh, the chocolate, the Reese's Cup, melted. It was so nice and warm. They weren't burnt. Um, fun thing to do with the kids. The big one, not so good. Too, they're too big anyway. Um, so I didn't really like them in the fire. And definitely don't like them in there. So next time, the little ones are perfect. Hey, Zoe. Here's what you do with the big ones. Um, Zoe likes it. Thanks, Steve Spangler. Six Science was delicious today.